Hey guys and welcome back to another video. That's why I wanted to also share some tips as a junior QA, what I would advise for you to be doing in the first month. First, definitely ask for feedback. Don't be afraid to ask for feedback from anyone. Can I do something better? Is there anything I'm missing? Is there something else I need to look out for? Ask questions. You're new, you're junior, everyone like knows it. And if you want to get better, you should ask questions. But before you do, please do check if the information is already somewhere else or did you ask this information someone to someone already? Maybe you have the answer somewhere in Slack history or something. So do check out before you ask these questions if they're already answered somewhere else. So you wouldn't be just wasting someone's time. And first, before you do ask questions, also try to understand the problem yourself. And then if you are not able to figure out, then ask questions to other colleagues. And on communication side, you should definitely have a clear communication. Just try to ask very condensed, short, straight to the point questions with the problem and the part where you are confused. Don't write texts like this. Most people don't really want to read them or it's very hard to retain what you're trying to ask then. So maybe record a video if it's easier or just have a quick call Sometimes, honestly, having a quick call is easier than just shooting messages back and forth. Usually it can be like a three minute discussion instead of 15 minutes back and forth with messages. Next is definitely don't skip exploratory testing. Now, to me, this is like the most crucial part. You have fresh eyes, as I already mentioned at the very start, it's very, very crucial. So use it to your advantage. You can get great, great feedback about the product, which, you know, Whoever uh, you are under may notice how you are trying to do the best. Even if it's not in your first week onboarding, I would still advise for you to do it on your own time, whatever, just so you can give them feedback. I would see it only as a benefit and also as a plus for someone who's actually go goes above and beyond. So don't skip exploratory testing, please. Next one is definitely keep notes on weird things you've seen, maybe once, but just write down how you've seen them if you have time so you can circle back and check out if you can find steps to these problems on tools or namings that you are hearing within the meanings that you're having. Maybe there's some unclarities. This will help you again to understand everything much better if there are some shortcuts people are using. What does it mean? Just take notes, later figure out what it means or how it's used or if not, you can go and ask questions on these things. Next is definitely keep learning, stay eager, ask questions, read, and just be very interested in how things are working. It's going to help you in the long run. The sooner you understand how the business product is working and helping the end users, the easier your job is going to be in when you are taking on bigger features to test or harder bug fixes or whatever. Basically, you're going to have much easier time with thinking about all these scenarios, the edge cases, and just helping out with the business needs or your feedback on, hey, again, something doesn't feel right here. You may be interacting with a different part of a system. You may be helping with tips like these to product if you understand the product well. So it's very important for you to keep learning, trying to understand the industry that you're in, the niche and the whole team. Next one is if you're still having this imposter syndrome, maybe take some courses so you can improve or try to pinpoint the places you feel like you are lacking or that are making you feel like an imposter. So you can take courses on those and raise your knowledge and feel much more confident on the things that you are actually working on. And again, I would advise for you to actually shout these feelings away because we all may get them at some point and it's okay. Just don't let them overtake your mind. And the last one is when you are retesting a bug or a feature, don't forget to roam around, poke around, try to find these edge cases because it's not always so straightforward with bug fixes. Yes, the scenario that was written isn't reproducing, but maybe if you skip one of the steps or do something else, it does. So always roam around before you actually close out the tickets. Don't do just this straight up scenario reproduci 
reproducibility and that's it. Try to poke around and find some edge cases in the system. Oftentimes it is the case that the edge cases are popping up even though the main thing is fixed. So be aware of that. Again guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep learning, stay eager and guys, keep up upskilling yourselves. You're gonna get there, you're gonna get to the middle, to the senior position in no time. Just stay eager and learn about the business that you're in. I wish you good luck and I will see you guys in the next one.